how to say it, but basically it gives you an Android interface on your iOS device. So the first thing that you're gonna notice here is we have a search widget that's going to allow you to search for Google right up there on the home screen. And right down here, we have an action bar. So we have the triangle, circle, and square. Basically, this is going to be a back button or go to the last used app. This is gonna simulate a home button press if you press on that circle. And this is going to open up the app switcher or you can press and hold on it to clear all the applications. Now, I do wanna jump into the settings here just to kinda of show you how this is all set up. So you can see that we have our configuration. So some of these changes are going to take effect after you respring your device. So you'll just have to see when you actually go into each particular setting. Now I'm not gonna go through every single feature that we have here, just because it's going to take a really long time. I do wanna hit the highlights though. You can see if we open up the action bar, this is basically how every configuration is gonna be set up. You're gonna have an activation method, which you can set up uh, directly for each feature. You can also enable and disable certain things and certain aspects of that feature with these toggles right here. And then coming all the way back down here, we also have our instructions. Now this is really helpful. I love it when tweaks do this. It gives you your instructions of how to use this particular feature and what everything does. So for instance, the instructions for the action bar is going to tell you what the back button does or the triangle button. It's going to tell you what the circle button does as well as the square button. But I've already gone over that. So let's not go over it again. But just a quick rundown of the action bar. This is going to give you the ability to use all those buttons, the back button, the home button, as well as the app switcher button through your iOS device. Now, this is something that I wouldn't recommend enabling right now just because when you have this enabled it overlaps everything so it's going to overlap inside your applications it's going to overlap on your home screen you can see right here that it doesn't actually shrink the screen size or move the screen up it just overlaps so you can see that it actually can hide ui elements so we don't have access to those buttons right down there so that's just a bummer for the action bar now that's the only issue that i have this tweak uh, but this is hopefully only temporary because this is a really cool feature. I like the action bar down here, especially with the entire Android lollipop style. So the next thing I want to talk about is the alternate notification center. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and pull that down, that there's actually quite a few things that you can change in this, including the opacity as well as the separators right here that I've included. You don't necessarily have to have those. You can take those off within the configurations of this feature. But we also have this bar right up here that's basically going to allow us to uh, tap on this button which is going to open up our contacts we can also tap on this to open up our settings or we can open up our battery settings right here if we tap on the battery now we can also actually swipe down on these and you can see that we have our toggle so we have our brightness our Wi-Fi Bluetooth cellular data all that good stuff right there available at our fingertips in the notification center of course, to dismiss it, all you need to do is just swipe up, and then we have all of our notifications here. So if we want to get rid of one of these, you can obviously just tap the little X right there. Of course, you can swipe across. You can also mark as red. You can archive or just tap the little X to delete it. So a nice improvement to the notification center if you're looking for something different. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the mini player widget. And you can actually see it hiding out right here, but if I double tap on it, it's actually going to present itself. So you can double tap on this to hide it or to make it visible basically. So you can see we can drag this around however we'd like. We can put this wherever we want to. I just kind of keep it up here just because I don't have any applications up here. So it just makes sense. But we have our album artwork. We have the name of the song. We have the artist right there and also our media controls. If you ever want to hide this, then you can obviously just tap the little X. Now, if we tap on the album artwork, then this is going to bring up our uh, music application right here. But if we want to hide this, then we can double press on it and it's going to dock itself over on the right hand side. So nice little widget to have. I know a lot of people like mini player, which is a jailbreak tweak. So you're probably going to like something like this. Now we also have a power menu that is definitely Android esque. So you can see right here, if we press and hold to bring up the power menu, you can see that we have our power off option. We have airplane mode. We also have silent. We have vibrate or just if you want to turn on the vibrate and ringer, then you can just tap right there. So I have it set to vibrate right now. Now, if you actually swipe out here, you'll notice that it's actually going to bring up a respring or reboot option as well. So as long as you're not swiping on that box itself, you can see that it's going to swipe between those two. So a nice touch right there because having the ability to respring very quickly is always a nice thing on a jailbroken device. So just to dismiss it, you can just tap right on the dimmed portion or outside of that box. Now, right up here at the top, we have a search widget. So obviously if you wanna tap right here, you can search something just by typing something in. So if I just put LOL, type in Google, it's going to bring up a little widget right here that's going to allow you to go 
forwards or backwards, go home, go to Safari, or close out. So if we wanted to go to the League of Legends site right here, we open that up, and then we want to open up Safari, then we can just tap on that, and it's going to open this up in Safari. So once we actually have this in Safari, we don't need the widget anymore, and we can close out of that. So it's just a nice little thing to have when you're trying to search for something right there on your home screen. Now we also have a switches widget. So you can see if I actually use my activator gesture that I use, which is a swipe up from the right side, swipe up to bottom, you can see that we have our widget for our switches. So you can obviously just tap on these for Wi-Fi. You can turn off Bluetooth, location services, do not disturb, as well as auto brightness, just depending on how you want that set up. So obviously to get rid of it, we can just use that activator gesture again. Next we have a volume slider. Now there's not a whole lot to explain about this. It's basically just a volume slider. You can see right up here at the top, if we hit the volume up or down button, then we can slide our volume up or down right there using that volume slider rather than having that iOS 8 style uh, volume HUD right there in the middle of the screen. Now if we jump to the settings here and we go over to our configuration, you'll see that we also have extras. So right here we also have a lock animation, we also have colored nav bars, as well as a white status bar, and hold to open switcher. So these toggles are basically the extras. So for the lock animation you can see right here, if I lock my device, it's going to give that Android style fade out and zoom out lock animation. So it's something like if you haven't used Cheesecake before, that's something that does the exact same thing, which is a jailbreak tweak. Now also right here we have colored nav bars enabled. So this is obviously going to give us this blue colored nav bar, which you guys have probably been seeing throughout this video. And I just think it looks really nice, very flat and Android-esque. I just think it looks really good. But let's go back here into our settings for this tweak, go back into configuration. Jump back down here to extras. Now we also have the white status bars. So this is going to change the status bar color in app to white so the navigation bar colors pop. And you also have right down there at the bottom, hold to open switcher. So hold any open space on the home screen to open the app switcher. So you can see how that works right here. If I just tap and hold, it's going to open up that app switcher. So that is Android iOS or Android or Android OS, however you wanna say it in a nutshell. It's definitely a really cool tweak and I didn't even scratch the surface of all the types of customizations that you can do to each one of these features. So you guys definitely need to check it out for yourself. It's been submitted to Cydia and it should be available very soon for $3.99. Let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. I'll be excited to see what you guys have to say. All right guys, until next time, peace.